Hej, mitt namn är Jens Solberg och jag sitter här med Ash Chaplin, Master Tech Europe. Och vi kommer att gå igenom den nya Railen 2011 som bygger på den gamla pmr som vi har haft framgångsrikt i fyra år. Nu har vi utvecklat den till en ny startermarke. And Ash, can you go over the cool features uh, of this new gun? Yeah, sure. I mean, starting obviously with the Cosma X, you know, yeah. the external look of the gun. Uh, we really tried to get away from kind of the blocky, ugly look that you get with a lot of other entry-level guns. So, yeah. you know, we gave it a real fresh look with some good, clean, fast lines. Yeah. Uh, and it makes it really stand out from the crowd. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a cool looking gun. You, you see no eye plates. Why is that? Yeah, uh, we've obviously, we incorporated the eye pipe, the self-cleaning eye system yeah. that we use in the DM. Uh, similar to one that's in the NT as well. Uh, obviously, two benefits to that: we uh, the eyes never fail you. You know, mm -hmm. they're always going to stay clean and stay working. And then externally, the benefit is that uh, no eye plates. You know, helps keep the look, the look of the gun very clean and no uh, niggly eye screws to uh, to strip out or anything like that. Yeah, I'm just going to tell them in Swedish. So, som Ash förklarade så har vi gjort eh, satt in en eye type precis som vi har haft på våra tidigare DM på för, eh, på våra högkostnadsbussar och precis som vi har på DM11 och NT11. Och detta är för att få en schysstare design. Du har ingenting som stör det och eh, du tar ut den så här. Det är hur enkelt som helst. Alla som har haft en NT11 och det här kommer på en en starter en riktigt bra markör. I see you have a Hyper 3 reg here. What's, what's the deal about that? Okay, yeah, we went with the Hyper 3 reg just because we wanted a, a good solid base to this mm -hmm. gun, you know. The Hyper 3 reg, we've been using it for three, four years now. The same reg that you find on, on there, like the DM11, the NT11, mm -hmm. where it's just got really good proven performance, you know. Uh, it looks a little different externally. We, you know, we made a few changes mm -hmm. there, but inside it works exactly the same way. So, you know, you know you're always going to get a real good consistency and a real high flow rate of air. So gun's going to cycle really well and yeah. you're always going to get real good consistency over the chrono when you shoot with paint. Okay. Uh, vi har tagit på Hyper 3 regeln, vilket vi har på NT11, uh, NT11 och uh, DM11. Uh, den ser bara lite annorlunda ut men exakt samma grej inuti. Uh, vi har haft den, den har fungerat i sedan 2008 och det är en uh, riktigt bra reg. Uh, okay, I, I see, we, we've talked about the rag now for the Swedish audience, but I see the hose here, and you have the steel band? Yeah, we decided to go with the steel braided hose, because yeah. uh, it, it keeps in line with, with the whole ethos of this gun, is we want it to be you know, really durable, really reliable, and to deliver great performance. Yeah. Now, the steel braided hose, obviously, you know you're never going to get any issues with it leaking. No. Sometimes with macroline, it can kind of fatigue mm -hmm. or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, with this gun, you, know, you can go have a great day's paintball, Chuck your gun in your bag, leave it for like a week, two weeks, maybe even a month, uh, and then you know, when you take it out of your bag to go play again, you know it's never going to give you an issue like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, vi har gått med stålbunden slang, och det är för att den ska hålla, det kommer inte att hända mycket, du behöver inte byta av den, den läcker inte, det är bara att köra med den. Uh, och det är för att få själva konceptet av puffarna också, så att det är en, en uh, tuff puffra som tål mycket stryk och som kommer alltid att fungera. Okay. Uh, Ash, um, when I feel the gun, it's feeling real good. The frame is really good. I see it's plastic or something. Yeah, the opposite. It's, it's a really durable uh, compound of, of plastic. Yeah. Uh, as I say, we, we shaped it with the ultralight, the, you know, the distinctive hourglass shape. Yeah. So you know, it, it's effectively the same ultralight frame that you find on the Reflex, the DM11, the NT11. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and we put it on this gun because we just feel that that really gives like an extra edge on the performance. It, yeah. It's an ergonomically correct fit for your hand. Yeah. Uh, and that way, you know, when you actually, you know, when you hold the gun, when you're playing with it, mm. I find it gives you really great control uh, yeah. and just enables you to get in the game. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it feels really, really good. So as you get on that, so it's a traditional ultralight uh, grip. Dock har vi gjort greppet i kompositmaterial för att få ner vikten och det är också i den traditionella timglasformen vilket gör att det blir jäkligt skönt att hålla i. Det känns rätt och du får en stabil puffa av hålla i. Um, Okej, okay, Ash, I was just explaining about the, the frame. How about the, uh, the bolt kit? Has it changed or? Yeah, the, the whole platform of this gun is based on the PMR design. You know, yeah. We've been using it for again four or five years now. Uh, real proven durability, mm -hmm. reliability, 
Uh, and what we wanted to do with the rail is kind of increase the, the simplicity for the user. So it's based on the PMR bulk kit, yeah. but we made a few kind of modifications and simplifications to improve it. So the main thing is that there's no more alignment screw in the bolt. Okay. So you don't have to line up the bolt to put no, it in. No. Just as long as it's completely assembled, it will screw in anyway. Yeah. And, and like I said, the gun just works. Yeah, great. Right. Som är så gick igenom här så är det att man har, man har förädlat bolten, man har tagit PMRs bolt och sen så har man gjort den, eh, den, man har gjort den annorlunda. Man har tagit bort den här skruven som gjorde att vi var tvungna att få in bolten på exakt samma ställe. Vilket är att det är bara att skruva in bolten och sen skjuter den kanonbra. Okej okay, Ash, eh, we're gone through the features now and I, when I feel the gun it's, it's great. Eh, yeah. It feels really, really good. Okej, okay, tack för att ni har lyssnat på oss. Det här är alltså den nya eh, Proto-Ray eh, som är ny för 2011. En eh, grymt skön puffra. Eh, för mer information, kolla på eh, protopaintball.com eller gå in och prata med din eh, lokala återförsäljare. Tack så jättemycket!